All right, on this assignment for computer animation, what we are going to be doing is creating a keyframe animation, much like our stickman animation, of a tree that is continuously growing and getting larger and larger frame by frame. And then adding in some highlights. And then lastly, uh, probably in the second part video of this animation uh, lesson, we will also go into tracing a bitmap image or an image that we pull from the web and then creating it into a graphic in Adobe Animate and then animating its wing also flapping as well. Um, so to get started uh, what you'll see is we have three layers in this project so we'll go to a new document let's go action strip 3 and we'll start by using our new layer button here to create the three layers we need to start. First layer will be the ground layer working our way forward. Layer 2 will be the tree layer and on layer 3 will end up being our bird layer. So going to the first keyframe on the ground layer, uh, I'm going to use my pen tool to make a line for the ground. Um, we'll have the stroke uh, line be black for now and the fill color be, I'll choose a little bit different green for the fill color of the ground. Maybe this light green here. All right, so I'm just gonna make a couple slight hills on the ground, very subtle, go outside of the edge of the stage, go all the way back, and then when I hover over that first point, I'll see that bubble appear, and then I will click, and that closes that line. So next I will take my paint bucket tool, and then click on fill to uh, add my fill color there. Um, the other thing I can do is go ahead and take uh, the edges here, and kind of round them a little bit, make this into a little bit more of a hilly, scene. Maybe adjust these corner points a little bit here too. And okay. Maybe I'll raise this one up a little bit. No particular rhyme or reason, just trying to get a nice balanced uh, little bit of hill action. Okay. I think I will go ahead and actually delete my outlines though. Um, I think it looks a little bit better without the black edges. Okay, so all my outlines have been deleted and now I'm ready to move on up to the tree layer. I'll go ahead and rock, lock this ground layer before I keep moving on up. Um, the one thing I will do is go ahead actually back to my ground layer and add some frames to it. So I'm pressing F5 on my keyboard you could also go to Insert, Timeline, and Frame, which is F5. Um, so I'm just adding new frames. I'm going to need about 50 in this animation. If I look back at my example, you see this tree evolves over about 50 frames. So that's what we're going to want to shoot for as a goal, is to make 50 small frames progressively, progressively getting bigger. That way our animation runs much more smoothly. Now I'm going to select the brown color that I'm going to use for the tree. And remember, if you don't find one here that you're looking for, you can always click on your color picker there and try and adjust and maybe get a better range of options from our color picker bar here. Okay, that's a decent brown right there. All right, so I'm going to start by taking my brush tool and adjusting the size let's say maybe to six and then pressing enter we'll change the size there uh, maybe I'll make it just a little bit bigger we'll go with eight to start all right so on this first keyframe here make sure you're on your tree layer and the ground layer should be locked we're gonna go ahead and just start with a small dot okay that is the start of our tree growing then we'll press F6 on our keyboard okay make sure maybe you have this uh, layer selected I'll press F6 and now you'll see you have a second keyframe created. Now on the second keyframe, I'm gonna make this tree a little bit taller and have the roots start to grow. And then um, I'll press F6 again, making sure that I have this keyframe before it selected and then make the roots grow a little bit more and tree grow a little bit higher. And I'll continue this pattern painting a little bit and then pressing F6 on my keyboard. So painting a little bit 
and then F6 should bring me to a new uh, keyframe. And I'll also kind of add a little bit more to the side of the tree, have the roots maybe grow a little bit bigger. Okay, so uh, make sure you're staying on that last frame. And then maybe about halfway through the stage, I'll have my tree start to grow a second branch. Oh, it keeps jumping back to the beginning there, so just make sure you always uh, advance to the next frame. I'm going to make this split into another branch here. Click on this last frame and go up a little bit more. Click on this frame and F6. So one, one finger is on the F6 key and the other finger is on my mouse. And I'm just back and forth. Oops. Uh, clicking back and forth until my tree gets, you know, not too far up near the top of this, of our stage. Um, I do say we want to try and get up to 50 frames, but uh, a lot of that will actually be the leaves that we're going to add on after this. So let's try and shoot to get to like about 15 frames maybe of the tree growing. And, uh, and then we can call it quits. And again, just kind of splitting and dividing these branches more and more as they go up. Okay. And like I said, about 15. Now let's run a quick test on that. So you can see our tree starts up, grows out, and upwards. And so now what we'll get into is adding the leaves. And what we're going to do here is uh, click on this last keyframe and press F6 to create a new one. Um, and something that is actually handy to know is that you can use the comma and period keys on your keyboard to uh, scroll through one keyframe at a time in your animation. Okay, so I am just going back and forth with the comma key. Um, on this last frame, we pressed F6, so I can go back and forth between these two and notice that nothing changes. So I know that I've already created a new keyframe. Sometimes you lose track of where you are. Um, and so then I'll be on this one. With my oval tool selected, I am going to choose the uh, color that I want for the leaves, maybe a darker, a slightly darker green color. Um, so what we'll do is on this keyframe, I'll just draw a shape of a green sort of uh, leaf type shape starting to grow out of one of the ends of the branches. I'm going to turn off my stroke color for this because I don't want any outlines on these shapes. So starting small, two kind of green shapes coming out. This is going to be a bit more of an abstract uh, tree. And again, uh, just keep going to this last frame and then pressing F6. Um, and so I'm going to just kind of let this area start to fill out some more. And then maybe have this green start to grow up across this bridge, this gap here. And just drawing one more oval at a time. We'll have one here. And F6 key, remember, is the one that's going to create a new keyframe. So I am just going to keep filling this out a little bit more by a little bit more. It's kind of taking on the look of almost like a bonsai sort of tree. All right, so these leaves are starting to fill out pretty good. I'm just going to go probably a little bit further, maybe try and get this to about 30 frames, adding in more and more ovals. Maybe one will come off this part of the tree here. Okay, trying to get a few more frames. Keyframing animation is a little time consuming, but what we can really get out of it is uh, the exercise of really using uh, the main keys that we use in Adobe Animate. And so, and just getting familiar with the tools and whatnot. So, one last oval here to kind of bring this shape a little bit thicker. All right, so I think that should be done. I'm going to uh, go ahead and test this again. So now I've got the tree filling out. I'm going to add one more layer of colors. Like I said, we want to get this up to 50. We're really trying to exercise our uh, abilities here. As you see, I go to try and choose a new color and accidentally had my tree uh, selected. So I'm just going to undo that by pressing Command-Z on my keyboard. Um, and I need to click off the side here before I add a new frame. So I'm going to press F6 on my keyboard again. Um, I think I 
yeah, F6, one more time, there we go. So uh, now without that selected, I need to take, uh, I'm gonna take a lighter green color and create another layer on top of this and kind of give it some highlights. So again, taking my circle tool with no stroke color and I'm just going to layer up some lighter green areas on top and every time I'm clicking F6, it's going back to that first frame, which is a little annoying, but once you get into the rhythm of things, um, you can get going with this. So again, I'm just pressing here, F6, and then doing another circle. So I'm clicking on the last frame, pressing F6, and doing another circle. And that's, so I'm just kind of adding these in as highlights to the tree. Again, really trying to push ourselves to get through to the 50 frame mark. Oops, okay adding more highlights to these trees. Again, kind of an abstract, cartoony tree. But uh, animation is often in the form of a cartoon. So, um, like, like I said, this is about to be it for the part one of this animation. Uh, just gonna try and get through all the way to 50 frames with you. Um, Really shooting for the stars here. Let's see, get a couple more. Awesome. So this is starting to look pretty filled up. All right. Maybe just one more, two more keyframes, and we can call it a day. And last one, maybe right down here. Okay, again, no real rhyme or reason, just trying to fill out kind of the shapes there, and let's preview that again. Let's see, see this tree kind of grows and has some shapes growing out of the top of it. Great, and so that's it for really part one of this animation. In part two, we'll go into adding a, a bird flying through and maybe some clouds to the background and some background sky colors.